One of the fastest way to log in with Superbase is with Magic Link. The user is going to enter his email, he's going to click on login, he's going to receive an email with a link, he's going to click on it, and then the session is set directly inside our Superbase instance. I created a new branch called Magic Link based on the authentication client. I'm going to get back to my login page. And when I arrive here on my login page, I got the sign in with password. So what I want to do first is to hide here this password because I don't need the password anymore. And I can remove the password from here and I can call it sign in with OTP. So this is the method to log in with the magic link. Then what I can do here is to pass options. And as options here, I got several possibilities. I can have the option to actually should create a user true or false. So if there is no user here, it will create a user. Then what we need to change also is that when I get my data, I don't want to refresh here. I would like just to trigger actually here. Let's come back and we would like to have a const success set success. Okay, let's say that use a state and here it will be boolean. Here, it's going to be on false by default. I'm going to trigger it to true. What we would like to do is to say, if there is a data user and it's not necessarily here data user, what we need to change here is um, that we want to have from data user, the user. So if there is a user, and we're gonna check that just after, we wanna set success to true. But basically here, we are going to receive an email to log in. And in this email, we're going to have a button that will redirect us to the app. So this is where we're going to need to work on catching um, the session and setting the session. So here, whatever's going to happen, we want to set the success on true. And down here, I'm going to say that if there is success, okay, I would like to display like a div, okay, and say an email has been sent to, and here we are going to put the data.email that we catch to login. I'm going to add some style to it. Here I'm going to have a margin on top and on the bottom. BG green 500, PX2, text green. Um, let's say 600 and the BG actually it's going to be more 100. Okay, so we're gonna have some success. If we come back, we see that this is going to be the result. So I'm going to trigger this on false, there we go. So let's come back now, let's put a real email. So my email, I'm already uh, signed up. So I'm going to click on login. And there we go, we can see that here we send an email to uh, codewithguillaume at gmail to uh, login. If I get back to my app, I got my magic link. And here, if I look here at the URL, we can see that I'm going to log in to localhost 3000. So I'm going to click here, I'm logged in, it work. So let's come back. Remember, we've got the middleware and we've got the session. So I'm going to try to console log the session that I got in here. And actually here we can see that I got my session that is set up. It's really easy to work with the magic link. We've got an email that is sending to our application directly the login system. Now let's say that we would like to have a logout. So I'm going to come back to my page. I got my login page, which is here. And down here, let's say that I would like to have a button with actually logout. And I'm going to bind a function that I'm going to call logout and I'm going to do just after. I'm going to add a bit of style and BG uh, blue, let's say BG blue 500 text white and cursor pointer, and there we go. And up here, I'm going to create my function logout which will be actually an asynchronous function. So when I come back, I got my logout button. What I want to do here is to call again Superbase data error here, await Superbase coming from my Superbase client. I'm going to go here, auth, and then I'm going to go here and I'm going to call sign out. 
And if it's sign out, what we want to do, we want to redirect directly to um, our login page. And we can use the middleware for that. So I'm going to call here use router, which is coming from next navigation. And I'm going to initiate my router here on the top. So router is equal to use router. And I'm going to call router refresh. So router.refresh. And when we're going to click on that, just after we are supposed to get our response. So here we can see that we can have a data or an error here. And actually, we don't need to get this data or error, okay? We just want to call our uh, session to be here. So let's come back here. I'm going to click on logout. And what's going to happen is that here I'm redirected to my login page. Let's do the work around again. I'm going to call my magic link. Again, I have my link in here. I'm going to click on login. And immediately, this time, I'm logged in. I got my session. We saw that with Magic Link, we can log in really fast without a password. And I know a lot of people contest the Magic Link option because they say it's not secure. But actually, it's the most secure way because we don't enter any password and no password can be catched. We log in through a token 